Hello! Today I'm going to show you the basic technique on how to do clean intermittent self-catheterization. First thing that you need to do is to gather all your equipment or the items that you need, such as your portable mirror, a receptacle wherein you catch the urine while it drains via the catheter, your intermittent catheter, you can also use uh, baby wipes for cleaning. And also you can use a portable lamp so that you have a good lighting so that you can at least see properly what you are doing and where the urethra is. So uh, the main thing that you need to remember for this procedure is by doing it using the clean technique. Make sure you wash your hands with soap and water or you can use a uh, alcohol sanitizer should you have no access to soap and water. Now then positioning. With the positioning, you need to find a comfortable position or whichever one that suits you best. You need to discuss this with your healthcare professional so that they can guide you and give you some tips uh, about positioning. This could be uh, sitting, uh, standing or squatting or even lying down. But depending on your circumstances, whichever ones that finds you um, easier for you to do, and that's what you need to aim for. Okay, in terms of the catheters, there's loads of intermittent catheters out uh, in the market. And this is something that you need to speak to your uh, healthcare professional. I've got here uh, one of an example of an intermittent catheter. Uh, this is what I normally use for the bladder installation or a catheter with the lower lock. Uh, now, activate, activating, activating the catheter. Uh, the catheters these days are all hydrophilic and it's easy to use and um, it, it can easily be activated with the water that is included in the packet. You just need to activate it by bursting the water to for the water to get in contact with the coating of the catheters to make it slippery. If you do need a extra lubricating jelly for you to use, for you to use for extra lubrication, you may feel free to do so. Okay, so with the procedure, once you have all your equipment gathered, uh, you've prepared your intermittent catheters, uh, and then you find a comfortable position wherein it's uh, which is easier for you. And then you have to locate where your water pipe is. Once you position yourself, you then have using your two hands, separate your labia with your fingers like this. So try to aim that you can see the inner part of your uh, vagina. And then you need to orient yourself where the water pipe is. So this one is the clitoris, which is your clitoral hood. The second uh, point is the urethra, wherein the catheter goes in here. And then this lower down here is the vaginal canal and lower down is the back passage. Okay, so you need to aim for the pee pipe or your urethra, which is in the second uh, part. So with your non-dominant hand, you need to separate your labia using your fingers like this so that you can see the water pipe or the pee pipe or the urethra. If you find it a little bit difficult, you then you can have uh, an option to raise it upright, upwards, I mean, so that you can see it clearly. And sometimes the opening, the metal opening um, will be much more visible. So obviously, you do have a mirror here in front of you so that you can see where the water pipe is. Uh, but once you are so used to doing this procedure, then it will be a lot easier and you don't need the mirror. And you can do it even by standing. Now, with your dominant hand, you take your catheter, grab your catheter, and then aim into the water pipe, which is this one. You insert it you insert it using a 90 degree angle, doing it 
inserting it slowly advancing the catheter at least two to three centimeter until it reaching into the bladder and you can see the urine drain uh, any urine that is drained let it drain until it's all completely empty then you can slowly remove the catheter you can put this in the bin and then you get change and then make sure don't forget to wash your hands back